What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys one of the dopest regional forms of all time. We got ourselves an Alolan Sand Slash team for ranked regulation H. Now, when it comes to this Pokemon, I really do love its design. And more importantly, I like its typing a lot more of steel and ice. This Pokemon's rocking Slush Rush as its ability to double its speed in the snow. It's got loaded dice as its item with Protect, Ice Shard, Drill Run, and Icicle Spear to pair up with its loaded dice. Now the snow setter, obviously that we're going to be using with it is going to be the best one. It is going to be a low and nine tails. Low and nine tails is holding the focus ash. It's got protect, encore, freeze dry, and blizzard. So no aurora veil. This nine tails is here for some damage. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features a bunch of heavy hitting meta Pokemon. You got Dragapult with the choice ban. You got Annihilate with the choice scarf with coaching and final gambit. So you can coach up the Dragapult if you want to, or even the Mousehold because Mousehold is rocking Pop Bomb, which is one of the strongest moves of all time. It is so strong. I feel like every time I use Pop Bomb, I'm picking up KOs left and right. Our final Pokemon is going to be Volcarona. Volcarona, just such a solid special attacker, especially with Quiver Dance, giving it a speed boost, a special defense boost, and a special attack boost. So if you can get this Pokemon set up, it is a force to be reckoned with. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Alolan Sand Slash team. First match coming at you guys, and we're looking to get this video started off with a win. We're going up against a pretty strong team with Talonflame, Archaludon, Golden Go, Dragonite, Sneasler, and Milotic. Now, I do really like Dragapult and Annihilate here. I feel like it's a solid lead, but the problem here would be speed, and they can get it easily with Talonflame. Do I still want to go into both of these? I kind of do, because I kind of want to coach up Dragapult, and then just rip Dragon Darts with the Choice Band. I feel like that could be really strong for us, especially with two Ghost Types. If they want to lead Sneasler, we can not be faked out. So I think this could work good. And if they go into Arch Ludon, we can always just Final Gambit it down. So I think both these guys are just such a solid lead. In the back end, we can bring Sand Slash, and we can bring Nine Tails, and I feel like we could have a hot shot at winning this match. I just feel like the big problem is going to be Arch Ludon and Speed Control with Talonflame. But... I don't know. We'll see how this one plays because a low nine tails might be able to outspeed a few in Tailwind if it's sitting in the snow with Slush Rush double its speed. So this one should be a close match. Let's see how it ends up turning out. Hopefully, we start off today's video with a victory. And they're going to end up leading Milotic and Sneasler. So you can't fake me out. Um, I don't mind going into coaching here. I think coaching is really good. I'm trying to think of like what they could do to me here. They have Dire Claw, Close Combat. I think just going into like. Maybe just a Dragon Terra, Dragon Darts is the play here. I really do feel like that's the play. And we can coach up at the same time. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. We'll get that defense boost. We'll get that attack boost. Furthermore, we'll get that Terra boost. Choice Band boost. Oh my lord, I love Dragon Pool. It's so good. It is such a good Pokemon. So we'll Terrasalize at turn one. Just try to get off as much damage as we possibly can. Nice, lovely Terra type. Coaching's going to pop out here. Love it, love it, love it. I'm scared of the Milotic a little bit here. So he's not faking out, which is great news. I wouldn't either. Two ghost types on the field. His Dragon Darts is now going to launch, and Dragon Darts doing a huge chunk of damage into that bulky Milotic and doing a insane amount of damage onto Sneasler. Bringing out the Focus Ash. Yeah. The Focus Ash is going to pop here. I'm going to see a Throat Chop fly here, and we're able to soak really well. Thank you, coaching. And Icy Wind's going to also fly. I got clear body, so I'm going to be able to outspeed. Actually, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to outspeed. Sneezer's quick Pokemon. Sneezer's a quick customer. Sneezer, a really quick customer. Hmm. Definitely going to go for Dragon Arts again. I'm going to try to coach up again. I'm really hoping Annihilate can outspeed just so I can get that defense boost, but I don't think anybody's outspeeding this. This, oh, Dragapult's outspeeding. Wow, that's great news. Dragapult's still outspeeding Sneasler, so that's going to be an easy double KO. We're going to coaching boost again. We might not even use our other two Pokemon. <laughs> we might not even use the snow combo here, match number one. This coaching combo going crazy. It's going crazy. I was surprised Dragapult outsped that Sneasler. Is that even unburdened? It might have not been an unburdened Sneasler. Could have been Poison Touch. I've been seeing a few Poison Touch across the meta right now. But we end up coaching. Dragapult's sitting plus two attack, plus two defense. Should outspeed anything it has thrown at it, right? Yeah, we're outspeeding that bad boy. And then our final Pokemon. 
We're not outspeeding that. I mean, you can tailwind and really just get off some damage. I might end up hard swapping. Definitely want to go into a Dragon Arts here. And I might end up just hard swapping into like Nine Tails here. The problem here is I think we're going to need Annihilative Choice Scarf and Speed back. That's really what, what I'm thinking. So I'm going to swap into Nine Tails. I'd rather sacrifice it anything. And they just canceled the match. So honestly, I think they had a shot if they set up Tailwind, but they're not even going to take it. So I want to know to get this video started. So guys, in the first match, we didn't even have time to use our Sand Slash or Nine Tails. Dragapult and Annihilate was just going crazy, did all the work, and we ended up picking up a sweep. But from here, honestly, I wouldn't mind leading the Sand Slash combo. I know they have Incineroar for Intimidates, but I believe they're not going to lead Incineroar just because I have Defiant Annihilate, and that really poses a threat to them. So I think going into Nine Tails alongside with Sand Slash here is a solid lead option for us. So I'm down to do that. So I'm going to go into both of them. I definitely want the Dragon Bolt from late game. Just such a fast, heavy hitter. It's always good. And then last but not least, maybe Mousehold, maybe Annihilate, maybe even Volcarona. Kind of got to decide, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, Mousehold's not bad. I like it with the Pop Bomb. You got to follow me for support too, so you can work both ways. Um, Pop Bomb does big time damage onto all these Pokemon. So I think Pop Bomb might be the play. I mean, Annihilate's also really good, really fast. It's gonna be super effective onto the Incineroar, onto the Ursa Luna. Hmm. This is tough. All these Pokemon are actually pretty solid here. I think I'm just gonna end up going. Mm, it's either Mousehold or Annihilate. I'm kind of torn. I think I'm leaning towards Mousehold here. I just think having that support side of things is gonna be good for us. Let's do it. Mousehold. My final choice here. We're 1 0. We'd love to get things started off here 2 0. Again, we're hoping for the no Incineroar lead. I don't think they lead Incineroar. If not, it would have been perfect for us to lead just our Annihilate. That would have been great. But we'll see how this one plays out. Hopefully, they just don't bring it. Hopefully, they just don't bring Incineroar at all. Incineroar is kind of a pain. Intimidates go crazy. Well, let's see. They're going to end up leading Sneasler and Dragonite. So, not bad with my ice combo out here. My ice combo can really get after it. You can fake me out. I already know that. Um, I could just protect the Pokemon here. But I definitely want to just rip a Blizzard. And I think I just want to double down. Honestly, I might just go for a Drill Run here. I am just going to go for a Drill Run. Let's see what they end up doing. Because I can see a Terror type popping out from Dragonite. I can see a Hard Swap into Incineroar. I can see a few different things. So I kind of want to just feel out what they're doing here. Fake out. Here comes a Terror type that's obviously Dragonite all day. Dragonite, 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 normal Terror? Probably, most likely. Fairy Terror, okay. Wish we had a Steel move on our Steel type Pokemon, but we don't. So Blitzer can still do respectable damage. I mean, hope I'm kind of for a freeze here. Jorun is going to launch, which is gorgeous. Bringing you down to red, and hopefully Ninetales can outspeed. No, you are coaching, and you are going to absolutely dump on whatever Pokemon you touch here. We're dead, we're dead. We're absolutely getting dumped on. Actually, we outspeed, which is great. So, do I get a freeze? Give me a freezy pop. No freezy pop. We got rid of the Sneasel, though. The dragon is sitting here. He's gonna go for a low kick. My Sand Slash. Go on. Did some work. I'm proud of you, Sand Slash. Did some work. I really do appreciate that. And now we can go into Mousehold here. So, the thing is here, is Mousehold going to outspeed? What is your speed? Because you're 179. Oh, yeah, you're outspeed. I can pop bomb this bad boy down. I could pop bomb this bad boy down. Let's see who you go into. Please not Incineroar. Rotom. Perfect. Perfect. So Rotom comes out here. I believe Pop Bomb should be able to pick up a KO onto. Ooh, E Speed could go crazy. But good thing, yo. Good thing your boy's got Ghost Terror. I'm gonna pop Ghost Terror. I'm gonna go into Pop Bomb. I'm looking just to get rid of this Dragonite. It's plus one on defense though, so I don't know if we can get rid of it. That's the real problem. Please don't be Incineroar. Final Pokemon, it is Incineroar. That's tough news. That's real tough news. Hopefully you're still going for East Speeds. Into my... Or even a low kick into my mouse one. That's really what I'm hoping here. That's really what I'm hoping. But Pop Bomb, minus one attack, plus one defense. I don't see really KO in here, but it can do some nice damage. It can do some good damage, especially with the wide lens. So we'll see how this one plays out. They got Fake Out ready to roll. Pop Bomb. Hmm. It's going to do good damage. It's going to do good damage. That's three. That's four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. So one more pop bomb can KO. Can you go for a low kick into my mouse hole slot? Three tries getting launched to about negative six. 
He's gonna go for scale shot, so yeah, we're dead to that. We're dead to that. Alright, so not this is just a quick paced match, so scale shot comes out here. We do waste our tire type, which kinda sucks. Um I do like the ghost typing here. This match is coming down to the wire. Defense gonna drop down a little bit. Speed's gonna boost. So this thing is out speeding a lot of things, but maybe not my Dragapult. I hope not my Dragapult. I kinda need it just to pick up a KO and hopefully like what is this game. They get to bring out Dragapult. Um oh man. Probably want to just go for a blizzard. You could fake me out. Um, I'm kind of sitting here hoping dragon darts can KO because Phantom Force really ain't looking good. I kind of just need dragon darts and I need blizzard to KO this. This what's it called? That's pretty much where we're at. I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go for this. He's going to end up faking me out. That's tough dudes. That's pretty much game, right? Dragon Darts launch, he's gonna go for a scale shot. We get off respectable damage, but this match is just not looking good for your boy. Scale shot's gonna fly. KO my Dragapult. I could have went for a Phantom Force there. Phantom Force might have been a play. I maybe should have dipped out of there, Phantom Force into the Dragapult. But the thing is, like, not Dragapult, Dragonite. The thing is, if I would have choiced into Phantom Force, I don't think I'm KOing this Incineroar. I really need it. I really need to KO the Incineroar. That's really where I was at. So, now I go into another Blizzard. He's going to outspeed me here. He's going to pick up KO with, like, I don't even know. What can he use against me? Low Kick might not KO me. Can't use Outrage. Can't use Scale Shot. E Speed, finally? Probably. But, yeah, this Nine Tails just isn't doing enough damage. So, Alone Sand Slash got things started off hot for us, but this Dragonite just went after it. They end up hard swapping into Rotom. Rotom gonna come out here. Rotom really not a big time problem for me because I have free try, but the Incineroar more time, more problem than anything. So there's that. I mean, you just want to swap back into Incineroar, I believe, just to get off another fake out. But I don't, I don't really know the play call here. I don't really understand it. Get off some damage, which is good, and I'll just send another Blizzard. I could Encore here. I could Encore. But you outspeed me. That's a problem. That's a problem. You outspeed me here. That's the only way I can get rid of this. Uh, what's it called? Now there's the speed. I survive. Hold up. Give me a chance. Give me a KO and a freeze. There's the KO. Give me a freeze. Give me a freeze. No freeze. At least we get rid of the Dragonite. I'm just going to end up running this match. We're sitting one and one. Let's look these a little insane slash. A little bit more in match number three. So, guys, we're sitting one and one want to use alone sand slash a lot more here and i think this is a great matchup for us we're going up against a cramorant squad now i absolutely love cramorant they also got Robum. they got two dragon types actually three dragon types noivern garchomp and tatsugiri but they also have don dozo which is a scary little pokemon gonna have to watch out for that but i love sand slash here i'm gonna end up leading it i think i'm gonna end up leading it with nine tails i just think both of them can work out really well here double ice got a lot working for us don dozo is a slight issue which i mean i can bring in maybe pop bomb mouse hold to get some work done he's just scary man i definitely want dragapult again speedy fast heavy hitter can't go wrong with that but our last pokemon maybe just annihilate like final gambit could always clutch up final gambit could always be a good play and i am going to end up going into annihilate here <clears throat> same thing with rage fist i mean once this thing takes a couple hits rage fist damage just goes through the roof so that can really be a clutch uh clutch move for us down the stretch here in this match but yeah one and one quick matches so far only been recording for about 20 minutes so yeah these matches have been flying real quick matches we swept the match number one match number two we got off a little bit of a lone sand slash picked up a ko with drill drill run and blizzard with it and then from there it was just like pretty quick like a lot of heavy hitters but they're gonna end up leading cramorant alongside with noivern now noivern's sitting here probably gonna terrestrialize it could be boom burst noivern as well cramorant scaring me a little bit but i just think from here we just rip an icicle spear into Noivern, alongside with a Blizzard across the board. Actually, I could just go Freeze Dry here, and I am going to go Freeze Dry into Cramorant, just because it's four times super effective. Flying in water, I like it a lot. One of them's going to Traslice, though. Probably Noivern, right? Noivern Normal Type? Noivern Fire Type? What you got, Noivern? It is Fire Type. So I can Drill Run that, which is great news. I can Drill Run that, which is beautiful news. Cramorant could be Focus Ash, which could get really annoying. Cramorant's just going to protect here, so this is probably just a protect tailwind play. Protect 
protect Tailwind Pipe. I think we're gonna come out here. Get a crit first turn. <laughs> Send a message, man. We're sending a message out here. So Icicle Spear is still doing respectable damage. I mean, four times. That's respectable damage. I think we'll see a Tailwind pop out here. Yes, we do. And from here, Drill Run, Freeze Dry is definitely the play. Right? I'm trying to think of what they could do. Because again, they outspeed us. Actually, they might not outspeed you. You're a pretty fast boy in Slush Rush. Nah, I think they outspeed you, which is kind of tough. But yeah, they're not expecting Drill Run. So I'm going to Drill Run send this. Um, I think we just still rip a Free Shry. Free Shry does... Oh my lord. Free Shry is everything we want and more up against this team. Super effective onto the Rillaboom. The Cramorant. The Garchomp. The Noivern without the Terror type. The Tattoo Giri and the Don Dozo. So Free Shry is just an easy call into the slot. Easy call into the slot. They end up withdrawing Noivern. We're going for a drill run here. And who are you going to go into? Tattoo Geary comes out here. So Tattoo flies out here. Are you doing a double swap, maybe? No, you're going for a Storm Drain Surf kind of play. That's fine by me. Surf comes out here, does respectable damage. Drill Run is going to launch to respectable damage. And Free Shrite is going to launch, which is going to say bye bye to Cramo. Unless you're sashed. You are sashed. How dare you, Cramo? How dare you, Cramo? So Cramo is going to sash up. It's going to Gulp Missile across. I love that animation. And he gets a defense drop. Lovely. All right. So I got a first turn priority move with Ice Shard. I am going to send it here. And on top of that, I am going to flip a switch here and go freeze right over onto this slot. So Ice Shard launches. They weren't ready for that. Bye bye, Cramo. And we're going to rip this little freeze right here after Muddy Water. I think we're both dead here. Mm, that's scary ripping damage here. So, no Don Dozo, which is good news. I mean, they could have Don Dozo, but it's not Commander Tatsugiri. And, kind of sitting here in a weird position, because I got you. I'm hoping you outspeed. You don't outspeed. There's no shot. Actually, there's a huge shot that you outspeed. 156 with Choice Scarf. Another Tailwind. There's definitely a shot you outspeed. They end up going back in a Noivern. And I gotta really hope that this Annihilate can outspeed this Tatsugiri. This is tough. This is real tough because Tatsugiri's just gonna pick up KO onto me. I'm gonna choice into close combat. I need to pick up KO here. I need to do that and then just choice into Dragon Darts here. Really got a choice to her two strongest moves. Got no protection. Can't really waste out the, the Tailwind turns. And he's going to end up going for an Air Slash, which we soak. And you're going to end up going for a Muddy Water. Can we soak that, Dragapult? Dragapult, you do. Hold up. Give me a chance here. Just give me a chance. Because we're going to say bye-bye to Tatsu. Just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. My defense is down. Dragon Darts, ready to roll. I maybe should have Terrastalize. Because I still have it, but, I mean, I think we're fine with Don't tell me I flinch. I flinch there. Hold up. Hold up, but we should still be fine here. I don't know, man. Oh my lord, I flinched there. I flinched there. Is there any way that I can win this match? I'm thinking close combat you, Terrastalize Dragapult, Dragon Darts? Because I think getting rid of the Garchomp is the most important thing. Because you can EQ. We really... Because both my Pokemon outspeed unless they set up a Tailwind. I could double down on Noivern here. They might just want to pop a Tailwind. But the thing is, if they if they, if they protect here, Dragon Dart should just be able to pick up the KO. Oh my lord. I have really flinched to an Air Slash? Air Slash flinching me. That is crazy. After I soaked that muddy water, I was like, all right, we should be fine here. Pick up the double KO, turn into a 2v1 where we're out speeding. But I guess not. Flinch, RNG had a different thing for me. But he's going to end up protecting here. We should still be able to KO Noivern here. This is why I, I want to uh, terrestrialize and go into Dragon Darts. Because smart tracking with the Dragon Darts is a huge thing. It's a huge thing. Dragon Darts going to launch with the Terra Boost it. Should say bye-bye to you, correct? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we still got this win. We still got this win. So RNG cannot best me here. Cannot beat me here.
I'm not losing. I refuse to. I refuse to. I absolutely refuse to. Snow's gonna stop. I'm choosing the close combat. I'm choosing the dragon darts. Game, set, match. Close combat gonna do probably about half. Almost exactly half. And dragon darts, we only need one dart. We only need one dart. It's gonna finish this game. Rough skin actually doing some damage. And we only need one dart. We got two coming, but we only need one. Right? We only need one? We only need one. Dragon Pulse here doing big time damage. We got 2-1 for today's video. Absolutely love this squad. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, rocking out with Alolan Sand Slash in ranked regulation H. We got to use it pretty well there in match number three. We got to use it a little bit in match number one. No, not match number one. Match number one, we swept with Dragon Pulse Annihilate. We got to use it a little bit in match number two. Match number three, then, we got to showcase it a lot more, rocking out with it as our lead, picking up big time damage with Drill Run. Ice Shard and Ice Wiggle Spear, and even picking up a KO onto Kramer, a clutch KO, I should say, with that Ice Shard. That first turn priority just came in clutch. We really needed that, especially because they were outspeeding in the Tailwind. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.